A woman involved in a hit and run is free to go for now after a deadly encounter at a gas station in Duluth. Our Glenn Marshall has been following this case since it happened and Glenn, the woman has lawyered up and she's now cooperating with police. Yeah, Anita Mustafa is cooperating with police. She told them the fact that she didn't know that she killed someone. In fact, she said that she was only trying to defend herself. Self-defense, that's what 27-year-old Anita Mustafi told police was her reason for running over and killing 50-year-old Melissa Wheeler at this Duluth BP gas station. So it appears that she didn't realize that she had struck Miss Wheeler. That, you know, one minute uh, she's in a physical altercation, is trying to get away from it, realizes that physical altercation has stopped, and then just continues on. Um, so those are some aspects that we're going to look into with the investigation. She was close to being charged with felony hit and run after leaving the scene on Pleasant Hill Road Monday night. The next day, Corporal Wilbert Brundle said Mustafi reached out to tell her side to investigators. It turned into a, a verbal altercation of where they became offended of something that was said and then it resulted in that physical altercation that obviously escalated very quickly and turn something that most people would think would be very minute into something that w went very, very far and un unfortunately someone lost their life. Police did obtain a search warrant for the SUV involved. Mustafi lawyered up and was able to dodge handcuffs for the time being. And Mustafi could definitely still face charges as well as the other woman involved. Coming up at 6, we'll tell you why, but for now we're live here in Duluth. I'm Glenn Marshall, CBS 46.